Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Going back to a brewery, this Canadian brewery I haven't had in a long time. I haven't reviewed one of their beers in a long time. This is uh, Dew de Seals Solstice de Hiver Barley Wine Ale 10.2 ABV. And let's look at the bottling date on this. That's September 8th, 2016. So it's just four days shy of being two years old to the date. So when I live in New York, I used to have these due to seals all the time, but I haven't really seen them much down here. So two-year-old barley wine, if the store was, you know, knew what they were doing, this should be okay. So um, let's just dive right in with the aroma here. So yeah, typical um, barley wine style aroma, you know, like real big dark malts on there, fruitiness, Very, it's sweet, definitely sweet. There is like a little bit of oxidation, but it's like a pleasant, you know, honey lemon kind of a thing. And combined with the natural maltiness, it actually goes pretty well. Uh, I'm not really getting anything in the way of hops, though. I'm surprised that they faded already. Uh, Untapped and, you know, all those other sites, they consider this an American barley wine. Although, I'm thinking maybe this is really more of an English style barley wine. But I'm just going off the nose, but we'll, we'll see. I get a little bit of chocolate in here too. Yeah, so, you know, fruity, you know, fairly sweet, a little bit of alcohol in there, you know, clean alcohol, a little bit of honey lemon oxidation. Um, it's not quite as rich as a lot of, and it's certainly not nearly as hoppy as a lot of American barley ones. Um, so I'm thinking like nine out of 12. It's nice, but it's not amazing. Appearance, not sure how this is looking on camera. It's actually. A really, really deep, like burgundy, reddish brown is quite hazy. Only had about two fingers, actually, like a finger of foam when I poured it. What's the specs say on that? Color range from light amber to medium copper. I think it's a little, it's a tad dark for the style, which means maybe it actually is an English barley wine, but um, uh, I'm gonna kind of penalize it a little because it's actually, I think it's a little too dark and the foam's a little little small. So I'm going to go two out of three on appearance flavor. Let's see if, if it can make a comeback here. Cheers. Well, it definitely tastes better than it smells and it looks. Um, although I will say it's not quite as rich, thick, sticky, and delicious as, as I was hoping. Maybe it is when it's fresh, but definitely classic barley wine style beer. Um, let's just start running off the list. You know, let me take another sip first. I'm getting a lot of, um, Caramel and toffee treacle on this, you know, like just those confectionery syrupy flavors. I said I smelled chocolate, but I don't really taste chocolate. It does not taste like a candy bar. It's just more like that, you know, the the caramel, the fruitiness, like some apple in here. And I don't mean acetaldehyde. Apple, plum, grape, a little bit of raisin. I get quite a lot of alcohol in here, even after two years in the bottle. It's not that it's harsh. It's definitely not harsh, but I, it's not super smooth either. It's actually a little bit more prominent than I would I thought it would be after two years. Maybe I'll bump that appearance back up because we're getting some nice lacing there. I was worried this was going to fade completely. Yeah, so, you know, your typical, you know, caramel-covered apple kind of flavor, that whole, like, fruit basket kind of flavor, that confectionery flavor, but... I think like, well, I've never had this one. I've never had it at all. I was going to say, I've never had it when it's fresh. And I imagine when it's fresh, the flavors are probably up here. Two years in the bottle or on the stellar shelf or wherever it's been for the last two years. It's kind of brought the flavor down, I'm, I'm assuming. Now that I'm paying attention to it, I actually am getting like the hop character on here. So there is like, you know, a, a plenty, plenty of, of hops to notice to kind of definitely give some balance here. Um, it's, I wouldn't call it a hoppy beer per se. It's nowhere near... Um, it's nowhere near like a Sierra Nevada Bigfoot, but as far as like the maltiness goes, it's nowhere near a J.W. Lee. So I don't know, is this American or English style? It could really go either way. Maybe, I don't know, maybe American. It, I just think maybe the hops have faded after two years and it's still quite boozy. Was it maybe 10.2? Yeah, I mean, it definitely feels like 10.2. Um, but, um, you know, so, you know, it's a nice, big, complex beer. It's just that maybe it's just been poorly handled for the last two years. But as far as, like, the specs go, 
it's it's getting most of the stuff there. It's just like it's not like wowing me, and it's not like amazingly delicious. It's just kind of like good. <laughs> so for flavor, I'm thinking. 14 or 15 maybe i think 15 tops i'll go 15 since i was being kind of stingy and everything else mouthfeel it's um i probably put about a medium full body it, it is not the syrupy viscous um you know thing that most uh, 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 barley wines are although american barley wines tend to be a little bit fuller or a little bit thinner than the english ones a little bit highly carbonated. I'm in the specs here. It said it should be full-bodied and chewy with a velvety, lush, te luscious texture. Although the body may decline with long conditioning. Okay, so, you know, maybe two years in the bottle, it's kind of thinned out a little. Alcohol warrants for be noticeable, but smooth, true. Should be not should not be syrupy and under attenuated. I agree with that. Carbonation may be low to moderate depending on age and conditioning. Okay, so um, it's a little bit thinner than I prefer, and that alcohol is certainly pretty warm. I would not call it hot. But it's hard to overlook. I mean, a barley wine should be like kind of a sipping beer anyway. You don't want to just chug it right down. Um, to me, it just it just feels like a little bit thinner than it should be. And the carbonation seems like a little bit lower than it should be. But otherwise, I mean, it's very, very smooth, uh, very drinkable. Um, you know, so not a challenge to drink at all. I'm going to go I'm going to go four out of five on mouthfeel. Overall impression, I think I'm going to say I could kind of go six or seven on this one. Let's say seven. It's a total score of 37 out of 50. Um, yeah, it's it, like I said, it's a good it's a good beer. It's a good barley wine. It's just not amazing. It's, you know, maybe if I had cellared it for two years, it'd be a little bit better, but there you go. So 37 out of 50 for Solstice de Hiver from Brasserie Diao du Sud, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. I think it means like word of god or voice of god or something like that i don't know all right so we only have 16 reviews left if you want to trade donate have any requests want to do a collab skype review or whatever let me know and i will see you guys in two or three days thanks cheers somebody brewed it Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs>